So I wanted to make a video about a group that refers to themselves as Hebrew Israelites. And this is a group that believes that uh, certain ethnicities will be subservient to other ethnicities at some point in the future uh, based off of their interpretation of scripture. And from what I can tell, they believe that certain ethnic, certain, certain ethnic groups, certain ethnic groups cannot be fully reconciled to God and will be enslaved by true Israelites, so-called true Israelites, um, which are other ethnicities, uh, which, um, from what I can tell, seems to be people who have darker skin, and they're, what, what they're looking at is not necessarily based on skin color, but when we look at ethnicity, skin color um, does come into play. And these people, um, I had an interaction with them in downtown Atlanta not too long ago, and they go out and they preach their false doctrine. They go and tell people that they're, they can be reconciled to God or saved um, and brought into right relationship with God by keeping the law. And um, they reject that the Apostle Paul is, um, and his epistles are the word of God. Um, at least some of the books, and at least this group that I came into contact with, their uh, name is Zakari. And so the guy who was their spokesperson at the time, up on the mic, um, he responded to what I said about Romans 11. He responded with Jeremiah. So in, the thing I brought up in Romans 11 was how... Um, the people that Paul is talking to, Gentiles, are distinguished from what Paul calls the natural branches. And so when Paul's speaking there, he's, he talks about natural branches that were um, basically cut off the cultivated olive tree that represents Israel. And so natural branches there are Israelites who were unfaithful to God, disobedient, degenerate, um, faithless. And Paul said that they were cut off and that um, in the context of talking about Gentiles being grafted into Israel. And his response to me bringing that up was um, Jeremiah 2 in Jeremiah uh, chapter 2 Paul refers to uh, not Paul <laughs> Jeremiah 2 um, the prophet refers to the people of Israel becoming a degenerate vine or a degen their degeneracy makes them a wild vine and so he brought that up because he believes that in the Bible, when the Gentiles are referred to in the context of being saved, what scripture is actually talking about is um, degenerate Israelites or people who are ethnically Israel who have become like Gentiles. They've been indoctrinated into Gentile uh, ways of thinking and living, and so they basically look like Gentiles, but they're actually ethnically Israelites. So that's how they interpret scripture um, and talk, scripture talking about Gentiles being saved. They believe that when scripture talks about Gentiles being saved, it's actually referring to people who are ethnically Israelites who very much look like outwardly and in the way they live, Gentiles. And so um, that's their interpretive grid for scripture. And so that, and so that's why he responded to Romans 11 with Jeremiah 2, 
because he's trying to use Jeremiah 2 to, to, to show that Israelites became this wild vine. And um, <clears throat> therefore, the, um, the reference to branches in um, Romans 11... The reference, the reference to um, perhaps he was saying the reference to wild branches that represent Gentiles in Romans 11 is referring to this wild vine that's talked about in Jeremiah 2. But the problem is Jeremiah 2 talks about a vine, not an olive tree. Romans 11 is talking about an olive tree. So two different things. Vine is not the same thing as an olive tree. And the the key point that I'd like to make in this video is that in Romans chapter 11, verse 21, it says, um, basically, if God did not spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you. If God did not spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you. So Paul there is talking to Gentiles And he's distinguishing them from natural branches that God did not spare. So in that verse, he's indicating that natural branches there are people who became degenerate. Therefore, we can say that we could we could say that the wild vine, if he wants to say that these people are a wild vine, these people um who are not spared because of their unfaithfulness, if they're the wild vine, then they're not natural branches. Then the Gentiles are not natural branches. <clears throat> if God did not spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you. So right there, Paul is saying degenerate Israelites who are unfaithful are natural branches. And he's distinguishing them, those natural branches, from the people he's talking to, which indicates that the people he's talking to are not natural branches. They're not Israelites. They're not ethnic Israel. The Gentiles that Paul is talking to is not ethnic Israel. Because Paul is distinguishing them from the natural branches and those natural branches in that context that he's talking about are degenerate. They are what could be called a wild vine. The, he brought up the wild vine from Jeremiah chapter two. If you wanna call degenerate, unfaithful Israelites a wild vine, then that's the same thing as the natural branches. Those natural branches are what Paul says, what Paul indicates are not the people he's talking to. He said, if God did not spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you. He's talking to Gentiles. He's distinguishing the Gentiles from the natural branches. And in that context, the natural branches are degenerate, disobedient, unfaithful Israelites. So that's how I would refute his argumentation. Uh, just a completely crazy, insane and wicked group of people that need to be refuted. Their false doctrine needs to be combated in the public and exposed. The Bible commands us to expose evil. And we can help people come out of the, del the delusional thinking that they promote by showing from Scripture that it's wrong. Uh, Philippians chapter 3 just annihilates all of their doctrine, but they reject that Paul is Scripture. So that's how they respond to that. So then you have to go on to show how the epistles are scripture. But in Philippians chapter 3, Paul makes very clear like how much of a Hebrew he is. He says he's a Hebrew of Hebrews. He's talking about his ethnic background. And then he says that he puts no confidence, no confidence in the flesh. He puts no confidence in the flesh, which is the very thing that these people do. They literally put confidence in their ethnicity. So it's, it's, it's completely contradictory to the Word of God, what they're preaching. And it needs to be exposed. 
And so, we should expose it. And hopefully this enlightens some people and shows some people how to deal with these wicked men who twist scripture and use racist ideology to demean others and lift themselves up and uh, promote the, the, the satanic agenda, basically. So...